Hi, I'm Natalie Rhodes, and this is Into Math's fifth grade, module 14, lesson five. I'm going to start off by going over the I can objective. It says, I can use a written method and strategies based on place value to subtract decimals. The learning objective is to subtract decimals using a written method and strategies based on place value. The prior learning is that students fluently added multi-digit whole numbers and students fluently subtracted multi-digit whole numbers. All right, let's go ahead and move into the lesson. We're going to be on page 355. It starts out with a step it out. It says Santiago is at the store with his brother. He reads the total for his purchase on the cash register and realizes that he only has $4.73. His brother pays the difference. How much does Santiago's brother pay? So his total said $6.29, and he was like, oh, no, I only have $4.73. So his brother pays what was left. We need to figure out what was left. What did his brother pay? So for A, it says write the numbers in the chart so that the lesser number is subtracted from the greater number. That's another way to say put the bigger number on top. Just like with normal subtraction, bigger number goes on top. Not the number with the most digits. You might come in um, contact with some of those. Look at the whole number um, in front of the decimal. That's the number you need to pay attention to. So I know that six is more than four. That's going to go on top. If this said 6.2 and the other one said 4.73, 6.2 is still more because the 6 is bigger than the 4. It doesn't matter how many digits are in that number. Go based on the value of the number. Sometimes people get um, messed up on that. So when I need to write down my numbers, numbers in the chart, I have a 6 in front, and then I have my decimal, and then I have my 2 and my 9. Underneath it, how much money he had was the $4.73. So the 4 goes in front of the decimal, and then the 73 goes underneath it. All right, now for B, it says subtract the hundredths. Remember, hundredths is two place values away from the decimal. Just like a hundred has two zeros, it's going to be two place values away from the decimal. So that means the 9 and the 3. 9 minus 3 is 6. Regroup is needed. They're talking about that 2 and the 7, but I'll show you that once we get to C. So it says subtract the tenths. 2 and 7. I can't take away 2 and 7. We're definitely not going to say 5. So we're going to borrow from 6, and we're going to make it 5. Then that 2 is now going to become a 12, because I borrowed 10. So now 12 minus seven is, well, it actually turned out to be five. So we are gonna say five in this case. We're just not gonna say five because seven minus two, but 12 minus seven is five. All right, so then five minus four is gonna be one. And we just subtracted the ones. So how much does Santiago's brother pay? He paid for his brother $1 and 56 cents. Another way of saying that is that's how much money he was short. He was short $1 and 56 cents. Then for F, it asks us the same question in the previous problem. So I'm going to give a pretty similar answer. It says, how is the written method you used in your chart related to using base 10 blocks or quick pictures? Well, the columns are now just taking place of those like blocks. So if I had blocks for hundredths, right now that column of hundredths is taking its place. So I'm just going to say columns represent place value blocks. All right, moving on to the next page. Now we're on 356. Number two says Miss Gomez goes to the butcher shop to buy 17.5 ounces of chicken for her dinner party. She looks the weight of the chicken that the butcher has put on the scale. How much more chicken does the butcher need to put on the scale? So she needs 17.5. This scale says 13.68. How much more do we need? 
So for A, write the number in the chart so that the lesser number is being subtracted from the greater number. Line up the place values. Put the bigger number on top. Remember, don't count the digits as the bigger number. 17.5 versus 13.68. Pay attention to the 17 and the 13, not what comes after. B, what do you need to do to keep place values aligned when subtracting? Is there something you might need to add to make sure that those numbers stay aligned? C, subtract the hundredths, then the tenths, regroup as needed. Subtract the ones and then the tens, regroup as needed. So what's the answer? How much more chicken does the butcher need to put on the scale? All right, go ahead and try these couple of problems. We'll come back, we'll solve them together. Go ahead and hit pause here. All right, let's solve these together. For A, my bigger number is 17.5 because 17 is more than 13. 13 has four digits, that just doesn't matter. So 17.5, I know that the 17 has to go in front of the decimal and the five has to go behind it. My smaller number is gonna be the 13 and then the six, eight has to go after the decimal. All right, and then for B, it says, what do you need to do to keep the place values aligned when subtracting? Well, if you notice, there's nothing above the eight. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a zero right next to that five. So right here, I'm just gonna write 17.5 needs to become 17.50. Those are equivalent, they're equal, I'm just adding a zero. All right, for C, subtract the hundredths, then the tenths, so the um, zero minus eight and the five minus six, you're gonna have to regroup for both. So zero minus eight, I can't do, so I'm gonna go next door to the five and I'm gonna borrow, so making the five a four, and that's gonna make the zero a full 10. So then 10 minus eight is two. Now going to the tenths place value. I have four minus six, four is smaller, I can't do that so I again have to borrow. I borrow from the seven and I make it a six. Now I'm bringing over 10 which is gonna make that four now a 14. So 14 minus six is gonna be eight. Bring down the decimal, six minus three, so I'm moving into the ones and tens now for D. Six minus three is three, and one minus one is nothing. You can leave it blank or you can put a zero. Either one is correct. So for E, how much more chicken does the butcher need to put on the scale? The butcher needs to put 3.82, and our problem was in ounces, as it says up here, and right here. So OZ is gonna be the shortcut for ounces. All right, great job on this lesson. Go ahead and finish up the rest of the problems, and then I'll see you back here for lesson six.